I don't like the fact that my wife has is, is got us a son. I need to break up with her. She's asleep at the moment. How about my son? Asleep. Do I care? No. <laughs> How about our little, little dog Taylor? Taylor's fine. Be glad that she's moving out along with my wife soon. I'll be glad because I'm fed up with this dog being here in this house. But at least I managed to cook some pre-made meals for when we need some. Well, only I'll be eating them. Because my wife will be kicked out of this house fairly soon. And I will be going with her, no. She'll have to find another two-bedroom house to look after our son, Chad. It should be pretty good. Oh yeah, I'm not making food for anyone, I'm making it for the dog. I don't know why I felt the need to do so. Because he's already got food in there. Fill with the gourmet food instead. I'm pretty sure we already have some leftovers. But I want to serve some pancakes for my breakfast. I'll go do that. I'll go do that right now. So it's just a Sunday and it's summer. 22 degrees Celsius, and it couldn't be better. Let's see what Taylor's doing. Taylor, you're so unlucky. You have to move out of here. You can take all the furniture you need with you when you leave. And stop being lazy and get up. Clean the shower and shower. You smell. Can't wait to get you out of here. I made the pancakes. They're mostly for me since I'll be living by myself when my wife moves out. Soon she'll be my ex wife. If she is Why is she singing like that? That's doing my head in. Shut up. Just, just shut up, Wendy. I'm trying to eat here. My husband is so rude to me. I heard he was going to break up with me. Well, he can do that. Because I still have my son left. And my little Taylor. He loves squeaky toys for some reason. Well, it looks like I need to get a job. I'll get a job once I move house. I don't really need it at the moment.
She even does all the cleaning. I don't think I want to stay with her anymore. She might have some good spots about her, but still. She gave birth to a son. I wanted a daughter. Did I? Maybe I didn't want any children whatsoever. But either way, I'm breaking up with her. I've had enough of her. She's ugly as hell. Not to mention it. We're over! You better stay away from me. I'm taking my child with me. And get out before I call the cops. I'm going to have a regiment number against you. You're so dumb. You don't even know what that is. I just want to move to a new town just to get away from Selman. But I have to move in this area. This place seems amazing. Well, this town. So, no. We are just moving in this neighborhood. Even though I prefer a better one. But it's whatever. Like, it's whatever. Um, two bedrooms and two bathrooms. This house is my life. Like, it would fit both of our needs. It's amazing. Don't even tell me that it's not. It is amazing. I'm pretty glad that I chose this place over what I'm living in at the moment. I'm pretty sure we we'll move straight away. We'll get a nice place. A nice place we will. Our place will be go. Come on, Chad. We gotta get out of here. I'll explain to you when you're old enough to understand. But right now, we gotta get out of here. Come on, Taylor. Let's go. Come on, Taylor, let's go. Seriously, I had to walk all that way. <sighs> I may need to get myself. I hope this isn't an apartment. I hope it's a... I hope it's a... Um, house It's not an apartment. I can't be dealing with apartments. I want this place all to me and my child. And plus, it looks better than the old house that we were living in. Now what we gotta do is just buy what we need back. Pretty sure we need a TV. The fireplace can go. Screw it, we don't even need a fireplace. We keep ourselves warm by ourselves. You know, if you know what I mean by that. Pretty sure I tell you what I mean as I go along. 
maybe I need a more expensive TV for me and my little guy. Let's see. I certainly like that TV. It may be small, but it's feasible. I like it. Might as well get a game system. He's a boy. You know. You know what they like. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we're good from here. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, no, we're not. We haven't got a dog bowl for our dog. Let's get some pet essentials. We need a toy bowl. We can have that right there. We need a dog bowl. Where can we put that? Can we put it, um, somewhere? Maybe we can put it right here. Hopefully it's accessible. We would like it to be. These chairs and that table needs to go. It's quite girly, if I'm honest, and I have a son, not a daughter. So I need something gender fluid for both of us, if that's even the word that I was looking for. Now what can we go for? It's small and nice looking. We could do with some for diesel stuff. Am I right? Or am I right? This is nice but sadly it's too big for the kitchen. There's a lot of nice tables in here but most of them are really big. Like I can't be dealing with big but none of the small ones are even nice looking whatsoever. Oh, forget it. Let's just go with this white one. It looks pretty nice if you ask me. Now, hopefully, we can get some chairs that fit what we're looking for. Because if I'm honest, I'd like some good looking chairs. That will fit this kitchen off the roof. And I mean off the roof. Like, I don't want no cheap things. I want to get a job and make my son live the nice life. But what chairs can I get? There's not enough chairs in here. You can't just have something that's not suitable. Okay. Can I turn you around? Guess I can go there. What's the issue? I don't think we'll be needing a third one. I don't think I'll have any partner. Not after what my husband did to me. I can't trust no man. Not yet at least. Maybe we'll put one in, but I doubt that I'll have anyone anytime soon, but it can go there, it can go there, it can go there. And I think we could do with some, we maybe need to move this somewhere more feasible. How about right here? That sounds nice. How about some new... Sofas. Let's find some new sofas. I quite like a new sofa. We don't need too much sofas since it's only got to be the two of us. But we'll get a third seater in case I find a man. Dad it, but no custom content, no custom content. This is quite a nice sofa. I didn't quite like the one at the old place. This one is quite nice. Hopefully there's enough room for everything in here. We'll also put a living chair in here. In case we need it. In case we need it. You know how our little guy is? Our little kitty might want a little special chair. Well, it's not a cat, it's a dog, but whatever. 
Now we don't need a dog bed because the dog doesn't sleep in a bed for some reason. But I'm going to put my child in the car and then I'm going to fill the bowl for Taylor. So come on. Our new life is the best life. I can't wait till Chad grows up so that I can finally talk to him and hear understand me and he have a bed instead of that horrible cut. And I'll be able to cook for him instead of just for myself, which would be much better. But I gotta wait a while, since he only has five days, since he has five days until he becomes a child, which might be before that. Like, I'm thinking about aging him up now, because if I'm honest, I'm fed up with him. Being a toddler, I'd like a nice child in the house with me. Someone I can talk to, someone I can have around since I wouldn't have a husband for quite some time. At least for two days. I need to get over my ex-husband first and I need to get a job so I can provide for me and my son. I haven't even bought a fire alarm or a burglar alarm. I think there's already a burglar alarm in here. But that doesn't mean that I don't... No, I mean, there's already a um, uh, fire alarm in here. That doesn't mean that I don't need a burglar alarm. I do need one of those. Now, don't hesitate to ask. Oh, I can't be bothered to change him. Can't be bothered to change him. But I have to. I have to change him. He deserves the best life. The best life ever. And the fact that I, I haven't even done anything with him yet today is boring. Like, he needs a gula. He needs a gula. He does. But I don't know really what to do. Like, it's kind of pressuring for me to look after my child all by myself. It's not feasible. It's not cute. It's not good at all. I just want to look after my child without any issues. But yet, I have more. Maybe I should turn less. At least I'd have more fun then. But I don't want my son to hate me. So I think I'll just do what's right. I'm sure he'll understand. I want him to have the best life. Hopefully he doesn't turn out like his father. And gets a girlfriend or whatever his preferences are. Hopefully he has a good life. A better experience than I've had. And it's good that he got my hair and not his father's. Because I'd be like looking at him really weird. I think he looks like his father with the skin and all. But I'll ignore it. I'm not racist anyway. I just don't like the father. Because he's my ex-husband now. But it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter at all. Because he's out of my life now. And I'm trying to move on. That's what I will hopefully do. If I get around to it. Like, I will definitely move on. It's guaranteed that I'm going to move on. I just don't want to be stuck like this for the rest of my life. But I won't. I can provide for my son. Easily. I want him to have the best life ever. Since I'm a single mom now, and that might end up being the way it will be till I die. But as long as my son's happy, that's all that matters. But let's just wait and see what pans out. You never know what will happen to me. You never know I could find a guy, another guy, when I'm out of work or something. As long as I found find someone. I'm sure my son is probably wondering 
where his father was, because he was only a toddler when we split up, and that was like hours ago. And now he's a child, and it's just so good. It's a shame his father missed his birthday. But at least he's a child now, so I have someone to talk to when I'm feeling down. Even if he won't understand till he's a teenager, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure he will be fine. Like, he is an independent kid. I, I really want to not be a strict mom with him, but I might have to be. Just because... Because of who his, um... Just because of who his father is. That's all I'm saying. Because of who his father is, that's all. And he wants braces for when he's, um, going out. But I don't want him to have braces. But he's quite brave. He's quite a brave young man. That's all that matters. I'd like to cook for him right now. I'm going to have to start learning how to cook. That's the horrible part about it. I didn't even cook when I lived with my husband. He did all the cooking. So now the fact that I have to do it all myself makes me feel really nervous, really upset, really upset. And I mean really upset. Like, my son can't even have a double bed. he has have to sleep in a single bed for the rest of his life while he lives with me. And in one of these beds too. Just because I, I'm a strict mother, I have to make him sleep in one of those awful beds that look like a prison bed. But that's what he'll be sleeping in until he moves out. Because I haven't got enough money to get him a bigger bedroom. I'm pretty sure this house has probably got a big enough bedroom. But I don't know. I haven't went inside it, and I won't need to either. It would be nice if I could see the inside of it. I'm not far from my, my husband. I should have really thought about this. Maybe moving to that house there would have been better. But if it doesn't have um, how much bedrooms I, I need, then it doesn't work at all for me. But I, I really think that being a lifeguard will be good for me. Just because my husband was it and I never got to experience it. I might actually experience it now. I'm going to get my mother a car. Don't ask how, but I am. I'm going to get her a car. It's going to be so good. Now, what car can I get my mother? It has to be a really nice one. One that we will both enjoy. I don't need my mother to have any man in her life. No man whatsoever. I just want a car. I want her to have a car. A nice car, too. A car like this one. Maybe in a different color. Black? I think black would be perfect. I wasted half of her spending, but I'm sure she understands that she's my mother. What a shame that she didn't even buy me any toys. At least I have my own bathroom, so I can go to the bathroom whenever I feel the need to. But that still doesn't mean that I don't want some toys. It's quite amazing if you ask me. I go play with my toys now. Oh, we have a dog? I had no idea. And what other thing you won't have an idea about if you don't stop complaining? 
as if we haven't got a fire alarm. We have got a fire alarm. The thing we haven't got is a burglar alarm. And to make sure that we're completely safe, we'll place two. Do we need anything else? Like a fire alarm? I don't see a fire alarm in here. I'm just going to get another one anyway. Who cares? Who cares? One bit. Not me. Do we really need those counters up there? I don't think we do. I've got us a fire alarm. This place really needs to look good shaping. Good shaping, I say. It really does. I've had enough of this place. One thing they don't realize is, in this place, I can talk. Yes, I'm an independent dog, but I can talk. Like, literally, I can talk. My mother is now coming home. I'm assuming she's going to make me some breakfast. That she is. She's going to make me some waffles when she gets home. Maybe me and her can go out on a day out somewhere today. Instead of me just playing with my toys. She needs to get out. Huh? Apparently she starts work in an hour. That's not going to be good. How can she make me my food if she's at work? That doesn't make sense. And it's not fair either. I don't get how she can do that. Well, you better hurry up, Mother. I want my food. You can't go to work without feeding me anything. I know, I'm sorry. I promise when I get back from work at 6, we can eat out for dinner. You promise? I promise. Taylor, can you move? Sorry. Gosh, this um family is so stupid. Telling me to get out of the way like I'm some object. I don't appreciate it. I'll go to sleep now. They don't even pay attention to me. It's like I'm not even around. I don't know why they adopted me. If they're just going to complain to me all the time. Oh, I've got to go to work now. I better hurry up with those waffles before I'm late. Too bad I have to do the same job as my husband. He's probably got to work today. But I better hurry up and do those waffles. Before I miss out on work, pretty sure I am going to end up missing out. Well, I better hurry up or I'm going to miss out on work right away. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go work now. Okay, I'm gonna go work now. I hope you don't mind that I'm going to work. I don't mind at all. I'm just gonna play outside with my lovely toy. You do that. I'm now heading to work. I hope I'm not late. It sure seems that way. I haven't even had any food yet. I know I had breakfast, but still. It would be nice if I could have some food before work, but it doesn't really matter because I I don't want to be late. So I have to um, make sure I'm there on time. Hopefully this car will get me there on time. I don't want to be late and have someone drown because of my lateness.
that's even a word. I just want to get there on time. I know it's not good to leave my son home alone, but I have work. I can't just bring him along. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's not a toddler anymore, so that's the best part about it, is that he can stay home and look after himself. I know he can't cook yet, but I've already made him some waffles, and that's all I could have time to make him. So hopefully waffles will be good enough for his hunger, or he can have a quick meal if he feels the need. Oh, wow. It had to rain when on my work day. Like, how unfortunate is that? It's not good at all. This beach is so wonderful. Oh, I recognize this beach. I sure do. Nobody is even here. This is such an epic fail. Like, why do I have to survey a beach that nobody is even there at? at the moment. Am I going somewhere else? Oh god, I forgot to get an umbrella, didn't I? Chad, come inside before you get too cold, too warm, whatever. Just get inside. I'm so soaking wet out here. I wish I could get an umbrella. It would really be necessary for me to get one. But I don't know if I'm allowed one on this job. I'm going to get absolutely soaked if I don't get one soon. I'm going to have to get one. Sorry for wasting time, but I have to get an umbrella for me and my son. Before we get too drenched, he can have the kid tap one. Sorry. No offense intended. Since he is a kid, and I, I will have, I will have, um, that one right here. And he will have. That one there. I hope I can use my umbrella now. I've got it. It'd be really useful instead of just sitting here not using it whatsoever. Unaware of the circumstances or whatever. I really want to advance. Nobody is even here. This is boring. I thought this job was supposed to be good. It was supposed to help the environment. But it appears it's not. Who cares? I don't care anymore. I don't want to be soaking wet. I hope I can hold an umbrella and still survey the beach. That would be pretty nice if I could do that. Nobody's even at the beach. Who would want to come to the beach today? On a rainy day like today? Nobody. That's what I for. I hope I can still survey the beach like this. It's really all I have. Nobody's even at the beach. Can I survey it with my umbrella? Seriously, why not? I'm gonna get drenched if I don't survey it with my umbrella. It's not, it's not good whatsoever. I've had enough of it. I just want to advance already. Where am I going now? Is there people in this side of the water? Please tell me there are. I need to do my job. But it's kind of hard to do my job if nobody's in the water. That's basically my job.
is to save people. But, but nobody is here. It's like a waste of my day. A day that I could be spending with my son. But yet, I can't spend it with my son because nobody is at the beach. And I've got to do this job. It's, um, really bad. And I, and I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. I just want to do my job. Yet, this rain constantly happens. I just want to go home. It's not good for me or my son for me to be out like this. I'm getting really drenched. I've had enough. If nobody comes here before 6, then I'm just going to call this a mess around day because nobody is even here. I really want to spend some time with my son, but I can't even do that. I know I keep complaining about it, but there's really nothing I can do. Because I have to survey this beach and blah, 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 blah. Wait, who is that girl there? Brianna. She's a food merchant. I thought she would go swimming so I could go save her. Maybe there's someone out far out of the sea. Like, not in my reach. I don't think so. Why would anybody be on the beach today? It's raining. So clearly nobody is going to be here today. But whatever, I stay in case someone shows up. It's not like I have anything better to do. Wow, today is so boring. I didn't want to spend all my time doing this. This is so useless. I don't want to be at this beach. Well, there's nothing I can do. If, if they don't come soon, I'm just gonna head home. They have till six, clearly, because that's my hours. I don't think anybody's gonna show. And I'm getting drenched over this. I hope the rain clears 27 degrees Celsius in six days. It'll be the autumn time, fall. It'll be fall, so autumn will be coming in six days. It's so amazing. How long has um my son got till he becomes a teenager? 14 days. I don't know if I like the sound of that at all. I don't know if I like the sound of that at all. I hope you peed outside and not in the house. wanted to go outside today. I play with my toys. But I can't because it's raining. Stupid rain. Why did it have to happen on the day that I become a child? It just doesn't make sense to me. Oh, Is anyone in the sea now? I just really want to save someone. Today's my first day. Why can't people be more more, um, respectful. It's just not fair to me how they can just blow me off like that. Blow me off and say that I can't do anything whatsoever when I clearly can. I just want to go all the way over here where this girl did, stand on there and think about my actions. But can I do that? No, I can't. I gotta work. Oh, it's six now. Thanks for wasting my time, customers. Next time, actually come to the pool. Okay, let me eat here. I'd like to eat here with my son. Is that possible? Okay, let's come here. Oh. 
Okay, how about we come here together? We come here and we have a nice meal. What do you say, son? You think it's feasible? Think that I enjoy it? Think that you'd enjoy it if you were in this position? You better hurry up, I ain't wasting no time. Let's go! We really need to eat out more often. I don't need all this money. I've got a job now to earn my savings. Although I'm thinking about quitting and getting a more feasible job or possession, one that will actually pay me, where people actually come and make me get paid by doing what's in my job role. So that might happen. Possibly. It's not fair that this happened to me. Is it, Sam? Well, let's have some dinner. Who cares? Let's have some dinner. It would have been nice to eat outside. But I think the weather has caught up with us really bad. And anyway, they don't have an outside shower. Well, they do, but we have to eat in here for some reason. Maybe this career will be better for me, but I'm, I need a profession, but I don't want to copy anyone else. So, I'm actually happy with my job at the moment, but I might quit it if this keeps happening when nobody shows up because of the rain or some lame excuse that I have, because I need the money, and they don't appreciate anything I do, so it's not fair for me whatsoever. Hopefully I can finish my dinner. It's already nearly 8 o'clock. I'm not saying I can finish my dinner. It's not fair to me. It's not fair. I have wasted all my time. When I had stuff to do that I can't even do today because of you. You seriously didn't show up at the beach? You seriously didn't show up at the beach! Come on, son, let's go home. Come on, son, we can go home. Oh, our home isn't far from, far from the place that we went to. That's handy. Well, anyway, son, it's time for bed. It's time for bed, son. Go to bed. Okay, my bear. Go to bed now. My name is Mom. Listen and go to bed. Ugh. Are you going to do as you're told, Taylor? We haven't had enough of you already. Do as you're told, now. I know you're upset, we all are, but there's nothing that you can do about it. Other than to deal with it. Just like I had to, when it happens unexpectedly. That are that our dear other half, or whatever you would call him, didn't even listen to us. Which technically you don't understand because you're just a dog. But you could at least try and be more kind towards us and stop messing around and actually do as you're told. That, that would be much better for us if you would do that, Taylor. Okay? So... Taylor, you really scared me there. Don't do that again. Naughty. Naughty, Taylor. Naughty. Now sleep on the floor for that. Why do I have to sleep on this horrible floor? They could have got me a bed.
10 p.m. What a lovely rest. It's nearly Saturday, not Saturday. I mean Monday. It's nearly Monday. And I have work. <laughs> I have work, sadly. Hopefully they will actually show up tomorrow. But who knows? Who knows? Who cares? Like, who cares? <laughs> Certainly not me. Leader Day is approaching soon. That is so unfortunate. Too bad I don't care. I stopped caring when my husband divorced me and left me alone with Chad. Anyway. <laughs>